Hi there, so here is the latest tutorial about publishing apps on Google Play. Those of you who are new into this thing, uh, well, you're watching the developer console for the first time. Those of you who have published apps before will notice that the developer console now looks completely different. Google tried to make things more simple, but instead that usually ends up making things more complicated anyway it's still easy but you need to do it a few times and you need to know where to go where to click so that you publish your apps as quickly and as easily as possible so let me go straight to the point right away you have the blue button here in the top right corner you click on it create app you are taken here to this area where you write the uh, name of your app you select the language of your app yeah anyway and uh is it is it an app or a game it's an app is it free or paid it's free or paid or whatever your app uh whatever you want your app to be then you click on these two areas over here i confirm the app uh, i confirm app meets the developer program policies us export laws etc you click on create app <clears throat> and this loading icon will appear and here you're taking to your dashboard now this is important it's it's really uh, there are a lot of things here a lot of areas a lot of uh, features a lot of fields and most of these aren't needed if you just want to simply publish your app on Google Play okay if you've done your testing and if you're done your I don't know uh, you can just publish it on on uh, Google Play and then do some other stuff afterwards so anyway this is where you need to focus the initial setup and here this dashboard button and then we will need this one here at the bottom publish your app on Google Play so the three things which are uh, the things which you which you need to focus on first steps publish your app on Google Play and dashboard now let's start with the first steps app access okay so uh, if parts of your app are restricted and so on and so on this is where you uh, select that the functionality is available without special access or some functionality is restricted in case a functionality is restricted this is where you add instructions on uh, how people can get to that restricted area okay let's for now select this one all functionality is available without special access we click on save by the way uh, I've made web view apps for websites which actually have login features and I usually uh, I just select this uh, option here and um, the apps get accepted so I don't know if it, if if it's a native app with uh, login uh, login area, then it might be a different thing. Anyway, I'll leave that up to you. Go back to the dashboard. Then this is where you declare if your app has or doesn't have ads. So that is uh, if you use AdMob or not. You click on save again you go back to the dashboard as you can see after every step I go back to the to the dashboard that is vital now content rating start questionnaire this is where you write your email address uh, you select the category is it reference news educational social networking read all these see where you belong if you don't find yourself the purpose of your app that is of course in these given fields at the top then you can just simply click this one at the bottom utility productivity communication or other then you click on next so it took us to the next step where uh, we need to answer a few questions does the app contain violent material okay so yes or no sexuality yes or no language potentially offensive language that is yes or no control substance okay so make sure to read all this carefully I'm just gonna 
uh, click on no here so that we save time but where you while while you're doing this please make sure to read them carefully and select the proper answer okay we're done here there is no blue button but there is a save button over here we click there so that then it gives us a blue button for next and then we click on submit so that it's finally done okay now uh, we go back to app content privacy policy now you need to um, enter a privacy policy URL over here there are several online services for privacy policies in case you don't have one just Google I don't know whatever let me just copy paste any URL here but when you are going to be doing this uh, make sure to copy paste a URL of a proper privacy policy because the apps are being reviewed manually by Google and they will reject the app if you uh, do this so don't do this at home make sure to uh, send a proper privacy policy URL we go back to the app content where we need to answer target audience and content we click on start here what's your target audience so depending on your app expectations on your app strategy on your app content I usually select these two if I'm um, let's say not sure but you know you know your app best so select your uh, your age here well not your age the age of uh, your target audience you click on next uh, could your store listing unintentionally appeal to children yes or no go to next again click on save your changes are being saved now there is no room to panic if you don't see a back to a dashboard button here because here we go there it is dashboard this is your friend we have uh, five of eight steps complete now we go further is this a new app? yes or no click on save we go back to our good old friend the dashboard how our app is organized and presented we just go to the next step okay you see these which we've passed previously now this is the next one is it an app or a game you see you select the category here you write uh, an email address now note this uh, bear in mind that these contact details will be shown on uh, on the Google Play Store so when people find your app they will have contact details below your uh, app screenshots so in case they want to contact the developer about any questions and so on so if you leave your phone number here for example your phone number will be visible to everyone around the world who have seen your app so keep that in mind website if you have one and so on yeah you can uh, select this if you don't want your app to be visible outside of Google Play you click on save and then you go back to your good old friend the dashboard again and this is where you set up your store listing so the app name is already here you write a short description of the app you see that you have limitation here 80 characters including empty space full description make sure when you're writing the full description not to spam with keywords over here okay because that is going to make your app uh, rejected for example if your uh, app is about cars you 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 don't want to write uh, I don't know so you you don't want to do this you want to make sure to that, that this is a natural uh, app description for example in our app you can learn about cars about the manufacturers we have some images and, and so on and so on so make sure not to write any random keywords over here graphics the app icon this one uh, needs to be 
here we go this one needs to be uh, 512 by 512 pixels then the feature graphic is something that you need to upload over here if you don't uh, have the proper size well you can read it over here as well phone screenshots the screenshots of your app and the tablet screenshots used to used to be uh, an optional thing right now i see there's a star here so it's probably mandatory but something else which i noticed is that uh phone screenshots are also accepted here so if uh, you have no plans of uh, having your app available on tablets or whatnot then you can just upload the phone screenshots even though i don't recommend you doing this so let me just do this for demonstration purposes like everything else over here video uh if you have a youtube video which is going to serve you as some sort of app intro on google play then this is where you put that one you click on save our changes have been saved now don't panic don't look over here just go up to your good old friend the dashboard now release your app now the first thing you see here test your app test your app let anyone test your app now you have so many things to do over here if you want to test your app if you want your app to, to be published on Google Play straight away just uh, go down to our other friend publish your app on Google Play area so view tasks select countries and regions click over here select all the countries click on add countries regions click on add no need to press any kind of save button over here just go back to our good old friend the dashboard you notice how many times I clicked on the dashboard it's just uh, the quickest way to get around this maze over here create a new release you click here this is where you upload your APK click on continue and let's upload our APK you click on save you click on review release you click on start rollout to production and then you click on rollout and you're done okay so this is the quickest way to get your app published on Google Play okay thank you for watching uh, if you guys like uh, this video you can feel free to subs uh, subscribe leave a comment I will uh, answer any questions when I have uh, free time and uh, so on Okay, have a good day. Bye-bye.